the weather... Well, in five minutes, Pete and Cathy are in for a shock when they return to Albert Square. Before that, a look ahead to a new drama series beginning soon on Saturday nights. OK, sometimes we bend the rules, but that's casualty. Look, I've got a night shift staff that's got six months to prove it's worth keeping before the boys in suits start yelling closure. That's seven staff between you and the accident you thought you'd never have. And believe me, this lot are the best. Oddball, maybe, but the best. I mean, where else would you find a receptionist like Susie? Patience incarnate. What did you do to it this time? So busy. Like it? Very nice. That's a vegetable, isn't it? It doesn't hurt to be six foot two in casualty, but that's not what makes Clive King good. He's good because he cares. That girl almost died because she felt her daddy did not love her enough. You can't say that. I'm telling you what I hear. Oh, no. I don't have to listen to this. Okay. But remember, it's not what you think. It's what Debbie thinks that matters. Right or wrong, if she feels she's not being loved, you've got a problem. When you're dealing with the kind of patients we have to deal with, you've got to get your priorities right. Duffy. What I've heard is that they ask you the question, breaking distance at 50. Then they wait a split second and say, well, just when you're going to answer on dry. And you get confused. So, i got to get it learned. You have passed your driving test. Yeah. Oh, I really would appreciate if you give me a test. Ah! Oh! I'm oh, sorry. Kuba Trachinsky is officially under the night porter, but he does just about anything you want him to do. Basically, he's not like anybody else. He's uniquely Kuba. This permanent shift, it is a very good idea. But it makes us like, like one goulash. All boiling together. <laughs> <laughs> She's called Margaret. Which is not to say that the others aren't unique, too. Megan Roach is one of the most experienced casualty nurses you're ever likely to meet, and she's still only an SEN. Don't worry. Don't worry. I expect you think I'm really soft. Soft? Do you know I see more men crying in here than women? Oh, yeah. That's true, I do. It's no bad thing, either. You see, what happens is... It lets all the little demons out, and then they drown in the tears. Now, I bet you didn't know that, did you? Not many people do, you see. That's a medical fact. <laughs> Somebody asked me why I kept Bass Samuels on the night shift. Normally, a doctor of her calibre would only do one stint in casualty, but the thing about Bass is she won't let anything go. And at three in the morning, that's just what you need. Have you ever thought how the mother feels? If I was that mother, I'd be eating my heart out right now. Don't you think she longed for that baby? It's time to stop all this. Come on. Let me have it. That's it. Come on. Let the pediatrician. Which brings me to Charlie. The whole idea of the permanent night shift was his, really. Charlie's one of the most... Aggressive, irritating, natural nurses it's ever been my good fortune to argue with. Did you take a picture of me when the helicopter lands? Before? Sent to my mother. Dear Mum, I do a proper job, really. This is a picture of me beside a very expensive helicopter. Love, Charlie. Oh. She's not as bad as all that, is she? Nah. I'm just not glamorous enough for her. Oh, and then it's me. But you'll hear about me. See you. Well, there's a fatal casualty for Inspector Longton to sort out in Julia Bravo in half an hour. First on BBC One, heartache continues.